Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Hello, everybody. It's a great day, great day, great day on this uh, beautiful day in February. And we hope you are excited about today and what's going on today. And are excited about this beautiful month of February where we celebrate Valentine's Day and Black History Month. I want to introduce you to, I'm Dr. Willie Jolly, for those who don't know. I want to welcome you to the Jolly Marriage Show. And this is my beautiful bride, D. For those who might be first timers, we are the authors of the book, Make Love. Make money, make it last. Ten secrets to shape a great marriage. We we'll welcome you all to our weekly show. This week on my XM show, my special guest is me, da, 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 D. Taylor Jolly. Tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m. ET, channel 141, where you can hear her talk about marriage and money and things that are very important in that process. And it will re-air Thursday at 6 p.m. Second, we wanna tell you it is out, it is here. Finally, after months of you asking and months of us working, I was gonna say fighting, but we really didn't fight. We just kept working, diligently working to get it up. We got our- No, we were really prayerful. We didn't do anything. We didn't we do anything. We submitted everything. Well, we had to we keep working though. We were simply prayerful. Every yeah. time they asked us a question, and we responded with the information, and then we were just prayerful because there was nothing else we, we could, could do. do. Right. Mm -hmm. So our TED Talk is up and live on the uh, our TED site, but you can go to jollymarriage.com, jollymarriage.com, and see it there. The topic for tonight is really about insurance, right? Is that what it's about? Uh, well, that's not it, really what it's it, about. It's really, well, I have information about insurance, but it's really yeah, about but that's relationships. Not, it, it, it's not even that. It's about trust. Mm, that's it's what I'm about thinking. relationships. It's about trust in relationships. Okay. I've thought it through okay. that the core, if you, you cook it, it you cook it down to its core, it's about trust. We're going to talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. Uh, Elizabeth Warmly, we're so glad you're here. Um, okay, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. What's, what's the we're topic? We're going to talk about what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Okay. So you, oh, let, let me set it up because this is one of the questions that we were exposed we received to. The, we received this email and that prompted us to ask tonight's specific question, which is, are you the beneficiary of your spouse's life insurance? Ooh, okay, so then we'll, we'll come back to the specific question that we were asked. Mm. But are you the beneficiary of your spouse's life insurance? Yeah. Do you even know? Mm. Are you afraid to ask? Ooh. And if you aren't the beneficiary, then why not? Ooh. Okay, so the specific question that came in email was, while organizing tax papers, and this is tax season, right? Yep. I came across my husband's life insurance policy. You gotta get closer so you stay in the okay. frame for the phone. Okay, his mom is still his beneficiary. Ooh. We've been married for five years and have a three-year-old with another one on the way. What do I say? We never talked about this, but should have. Mm. Now what? I was snooping. Mm. Mm. Well, that's the question. So when I say, you know, really, we're talking about life, life insurance, but the bigger issue to me is communication. And you're saying the even bigger issue is trust. So what's, well, what's in the this, big in this, in this, in, in, in this situation, though, remember when we got married? that I had forgotten I had some policies and my mom was the beneficiary. Your mom was the beneficiary. But I just came and told you. I'm like, look at this. Organizing. You were organizing. And I said, oh, so I, I forgot. To this. I forgot all about that. That was, was that was my SAG after life insurance. Your SAG after life insurance. SAG after because he was arts and, and, and um, Entertainment, radio and television artists. Right. That, uh, after is a, a American Federation tell you television radio artists. Right, right. And, and SAG so, is Screen Actors Guild. Okay. So I'm organizing the papers because that's that's part of what I do. 
right? right? right. In terms of the files and making sure everything is straight. So I, as I was going through life insurance, which is similar to this person here, and I was like, oh, your mom is still a beneficiary on your life insurance. And this I was a way down the road, too. We were, you know, we were. We've been, been married for five or 10 years. Maybe. Was your, had your mom passed then? I'm not sure. Mm. But it was old. It the was bottom old. line was his mom was the beneficiary on that particular policy. And I said, oh, your mom's the beneficiary on the policy. What, what are we doing here? Right. Right. No, it was not, we it had was a, not a big deal. That was we were communicating. And what I did I do? Question. You said, well, oh, I have to fix it. That's all. Fix it. Come. And I think my mother was still alive. Hmm. Okay. But uh, we, we, we just fixed it. Now, that said, this one is a little different, though. Oh, one of the ones we got. Now, I won't say it's this one, because this was, there was one that came in where it was purposeful that they were not the beneficiary because there was a trust issue. Well, I think that was the one that I actually talk about. In the show. In the show. Yeah. That, that was a specifically, that, that was a different situation. And the person died, the, the, the life insurance the policy holder had died. That was right. a whole nother issue. I mean, go ahead and tell and, them. And tell, them not tell them the difference so they'll understand the difference. Okay. So in this particular case, the, the wife one on discovers. The television. The, no, the one on the radio show. Tell them that because this one is easy. That one was more complicated. Okay. So there were a couple. Yes. Been together a while. So, you know. You make assumptions and people are together for a while that perhaps right. they for were years. married. That's been like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she had a daughter in another state yeah. and had several life insurance policies, I think like three. And when she passed away from COVID. And, uh, from COVID and the thought husband but partner notified the daughter, the daughter said, Take no action, I'm on my way. And the house was in the wife, the woman's partner's name. name. She had three life insurance policies, her name, but he was the beneficiary of nothing. Right. So they had been together, beautiful house, several cars, all this stuff, but he was the beneficiary of nothing. Right. She dies, and then the daughter says, I'm on the way. They funeral. And so he doesn't know anything of what's going on in terms of the insurance in terms of any planning or anything. So she plans the whole thing and funeral and the like, and he's then given seven days to vacate the property. Oh, oh that's the, no, don't, don't fly by that. She, after the funeral, she says to him, you got seven days to get out of the property. Yeah. Cause it's her It's not here. It's my, my property now. Right. It's, it's I'm the beneficiary. Right. And so, it, so there were several things that that brought up. Now that one was purposeful. In, in, what do you mean purposeful? That wasn't a, 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 a oversight. That she kept it in her, her daughter's name because she didn't trust him. Well, we don't know that, do she, we? Or she didn't love him enough. Some or reason. Or maybe she just loved her daughter more. And perhaps since they weren't married, we will never, first of all, we'll never know because the lady's dead. The lady dead. She gone. And the man is out of the property. He gone too. So all we can do is, is assume certain things. But yeah. then to me, that goes back to communication. I, now, I, again, that communication. I agree with that. I believe that there's also some trust in there. Okay. So okay. Parent, Terrence says, here's what you do. Sweetheart, baby, let's fresh your policy. Freshen it up because there have been some changes. That's good, Terrence. Mm -hmm. That's good. That, that's a good idea. Yeah. So how do you even approach the subject? Yeah, how do you? But some people, like this lady, that that they, your question goes back to the question at hand: Are you the beneficiary of your spouse's life insurance? Don't you think everybody should know that? Do you even know? Hmm, that's what. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid to ask? Why would you be afraid to ask? Mm -hmm. And if you aren't, then why not? Mm -hmm. Now, the, so I how think do you have a conversation about that? If you're afraid to ask, that's the one that would get me. Why would you be afraid to ask unless there's some serious trust and communications issues going on here? Which so then first you have to deal with communication. Right. You're reluctant to talk to your 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 spouse about something that's fundamental to your relationship. And you got children. 
Well, now let me say this let one me, has a three year old. By the, the way, the we should have an insurance company sponsor this broadcast. Any insurance company folks out there who want to reach our audience, we want to help you build your business because, see, we believe in insurance. I believe in insurance that we should have it for both parties, that there should be life insurance, which is really death insurance, and that you should have all the other insurances, long-term care, you should have disability, you should have key man, that's for what we have. We have everything you could possibly have. So you should have insurance. So if you're an insurance person, reach out to me because we want to promote you on this so we can give you the business that comes from it. Does that make sense? Yes, dear. All right, now let's keep going. Okay. So how do you approach this? We've never talked about this. I don't see it as a big deal because I, years ago, okay, how do we manage this? Something happened to you. How, how am I going to survive? If something happens to me, you have replacement costs. You're yes. not going to get a bargain like me from somebody no else. It will cost you significantly more. Absolutely. Right, to have me as part of your back office operation. Absolutely. Right? Yes. So if I were to they pass look away, as good so, as you either. thank you, dear. So if and I were they to pass do away, other things as good as you either. Thank you, dear. So if I were to pass away unexpectedly, how are you prepared? You need to have a smooth transition so that there is money. So you don't have to. They say, who is it? Susie Orman and somebody uh, and and Dave Ramsey. Person passes away, you should be able to do nothing for a year. Mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's emotional and you, you're just not in your right mind to make right, the right kinds of decisions. Right. But many people are not financially positioned where they can do nothing because they need the income. Okay. Or don't have a clue so let, as to what's going on. Let's to talk about where we go from there. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So then that, that brings up several things. Here's one that turns I got to get turn. Oh. A man and a woman were partners for 25 years. He died. She was not able to make funeral arrangements for him because she wasn't his spouse. Oh, wow. Yikes. So the oldest daughter had to take control and make the arrangements message to the unmarried that That's there right. need to be some communication, something written, something decided on. Let me tell you something we know about life. But that's a, that, that, that means um, the will, too. A will. Have a will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That stated very clearly what's supposed to what's happen. What's supposed to happen upon death. Right. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, my dear. Oh, okay. Okay. So, a couple of questions this brings up. Number one, there's a communications issue. Yeah. Why would you be uncomfortable? You're organizing tax. And by the way, we work. give away the communications chapter for the book, the biggest chapter in the book, to any and everybody who wants it free. Go to jollymarriage.com. You're not it. searching for a life insurance policy, but you're organizing the taxes and you come aboard it and you're not you're going to read it. Mm. Oh, sweetheart, look at this. Oh, you have life insurance. We need to have life insurance together. Yeah. Because we care about each other and we have little children. Right. We need to fix this. That's no big deal. Which does suggest there's something else going on. That she's afraid to talk about it. She's trust it goes back to thing. Okay. So I'm snooping. Hold up. Which this. brings the question up. I thought this was good. Can I get a life insurance policy on my husband without his nose? Mm. Mm. Would that be a good idea? <laughs> uh, you probably could do it. Now, would it be a good idea? I, don't I, think started, I started investigating that. Can I get a life insurance policy on my spouse without their knowledge? You can't take a policy out on someone without them knowing. Because you think about when we've constantly gone through and redone um, our insurances, you have to have that person... You have to have a physical, they answer all these questions in the life, right? Right. So, and there's something else, and you must be able to show an insurable interest. So if I said, okay, I want a life insurance policy on you, and how do I get around telling you? You can't, because that person has to have a physical. Hmm. Deborah Baxter says, will and trust. Yes. Now, Brenda Colson said, yes, you can in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So state by state. Mm -hmm. that's, that's very wise. That's what I was going to say. It varies depending upon where you live. Isn't that something? That's where that's. So how do you get now, a, now, wait, now, okay. So how do you, Brenda, how do you get a life insurance policy on somebody without having them have the exam 
without the insurance company getting involved and asking him, you know, What's taking their blood position? pressure. Are, are, they, are they healthy? Are they blood in bad shape? Are they, uh, are they in, Oh, that, no. Not in Maryland. Not in Maryland. All right, but, mm. but it's, it's interesting. Now, I want to get though the to dynamic to one, is if you can state. do it, but second, should you do it? And that's that that brings it. If this person is your significant other, yes, you should. Oh, listen, should you do it without their knowledge? That's what I'm saying. Should you do it if they're pain in the butt? <laughs> Tell the truth, shame the devil. <laughs> huh? Huh? I don't know, D. I mean, if what happens? They find out. I guess to protect your interests, you should. But but what happens when they find out? What if they don't find out? <laughs> I don't I have, mean, I, no, I'm I, just saying life is I, complicated, okay? Yes. For you to go down the path and get life insurance on your on your mate or a significant other and you don't want them to know, you, you're in a heap of trouble anyway. You big heap of trouble. So you're out there mm -hmm. in, in the middle of the ocean with, with a boat and probably no paddle. Wow. So why not try to get that's that's me. I'm not saying that that's me. okay. How do you find out if you're a beneficiary? Now that's how do you do that? How do you first find out what policies they have? You ask. Okay, you ask them, do you have policy? Again, go back to communication. Mm -hmm. And how about they say mm -hmm. I mean there why is why you no, wanna know? It's no big deal. I'm good. There is no one way, because I actually researched that too. How do you how do you find out? Yeah. You do you have to you have, you have to, to do ask. some 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 right and you can then go you have to do some snooping that that probably sounds so oh my god that's such a but you do have to do some snooping if they're not really forthcoming but if they're not forthcoming with a life insurance policy or or how we're protecting each other then I want to snoop to find out yeah I guess you're right they need they 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 that's financial security they ever you ask but if they they don't want to tell that you got a problem. Okay. That's some Terrence, other issues. Al Walker joined. Hey, Al. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says, Terrence said, lack of trust, a bad sign. Right. Uh, um, his mother called that being messy. Yeah, it, it's real messy. When you are married and you're not open and honest and forthcoming, that's messy. And second. And they were probably that. They were probably that. But we before already. Before you yeah, married now, them. We know that's and messy. Now, how do we them. fix that? Because, see, we, we want to help marriages stay together and not break up. So what do you do? We have to have open and honest conversations. But they don't want to talk to you about it. Okay. Then we, we got to find out why. Why? So it goes back to the 4F, doesn't it? Uh, it goes back. How do we fix it for us? The, F number one, be friendly. Don't be angry. Be frank about your feelings. This I'm is, afraid if something happens to you this and how, you're the primary breadwinner, what am I going to do? This the is how that makes you know me feel. I can't cover by how did that, that myself. make you feel? How does that make you feel, though? How I don't. Do? I don't feel secure. Boom! There you go. There you go. There you. There you go. Which is, men, remember, women need two things. Intimacy and security. If and you don't Brenda says some insurances in North Carolina don't require it. Okay. Women need two things. Intimacy and security. And you must get to the core issue. Security. Because if you don't feel secure in the relationship, there's going to be problems. There's going to be animosity. There's going to be drama. So make them feel secure. Second thing. After after that is that the, means sharing information. Sharing information. So you got to talk about it. be friendly, be frank, be fair. Why is it that you take this position? Well, they might you have. You know what? They were that way. We oh, that. but but they, uh, they might be that way. But why are they that way? Maybe they'll Maybe say. Maybe their parents were. That that's way. what I was saying. Maybe their parents instilled it in them. Here's how you do it. Don't trust. Ba da 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 da. Do 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 do. Because somebody cousin on on. So then, for those who are not yet married, this a word to the wise. Right. You need to ask about everything. So be friendly, be frank about your feelings, be fair, then be focused on a win-win. Don't attack each other. And attack what's important to you? Let's attack the problem. Uh, Deborah said there are red flags everywhere. If we can't discuss our right. future, our right. security, there are red flags. Right. Now, really, folks, we all know, we all know that you should have these conversations before you say I do. But if you... Well, you didn't, so here you we did. are. So here we are. Now what do you do? Now, we don't want you to divorce. That is, we want you to work through this. Because as y'all know, I told Dee, when we got married, divorce was not an option. So 
that was not, we had to work through all these issues over the years. And we worked through, now this wasn't the issue for us. Insurance, not talking, not knowing about each other's finances, not knowing about the, the, mm -hmm. the uh, And I think part of the, 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 the reason why we learned so much is because we're in business together. Well, we weren't in business always though. But I'm saying the necessity for now some of are. this information yeah, yeah. was because we were in we are in business yeah, together. But if we, so we, we it was fixed logical a, to need information. But we fixed a lot of this stuff before we were in business. Okay, we oh, knew yeah. it. Okay, we we because it just makes sense to me. Life insurance, disability insurance, all you know. Even before I started speaking, you know, when I started doing music, you had certain things set up. And you, you said, but we talked about it. We talked about as everything. to why this would be we, important. Well, it was important once you see, we talked about our dreams and goals. We talked about what kind of house we we're going to have. We were, and we had, we in the house we talked about a year before we got it. Here's what we want. We talked about it. We, what kind of cars we're going to get? How we're going to pay for our bills? How we're going to get out of debt? So it goes back to communication. Yes. Now, if you didn't communicate about those things before. You became one. Mm -hmm. Now you're stuck. Then I know it's not romantic. No, well, it's not romantic. You know, but I, I want to get back to solutions. Yes. All right. We know they 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 up they jacked up in a hot mess. Now, how do we fix it? You got to have conversations. What happens if they don't want to talk? You've got mm -hmm. to then go to the four Fs. Be friendly. Be frank about your feelings. This. But you know what? It might it, it might be over time. And I'm saying it over, might be time. over time. And I'm saying I'm it, not saying it, it might happen be, overnight. It's not going to be. A one evening conversation. Hopefully it is, but if it's not, be fair. Why is it you feel this way? And you can't nag. So that's what I'm saying. No it could be over time. No nagging, right. Weeks, months. That's that's set of time. You know, we got a couple we've been we don't we don't counsel anybody. We mentor. And we have some coaching clients who are married people who we coach. This couple they have for and that me. means they walk alongside, they see what we do. Yeah, but this couple we, refuses to do things that we recommend. Re I think they like suffering. They do. They, they like actually suffering. like yeah. suffering. They, they, like that. they like suffering. I've come to the conclusion that they like suffering and they, I, you know what? I think they like arguing. Maybe make up to break up. That's all about that we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got five minutes, so mm -hmm. let's go through your points of interest. Oh, this was just some research on, well, if you don't even know, if they won't even discuss their life insurance policy, how do you even know that they have one? And here's some suggestions. I don't know if, you know. Well, you can Karen says family. trust, and so does Deborah, but will and trust. You gotta, we, 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 you gotta put it down in, on paper. We, a will is like fundamental. A trust is something we've done, and we are now, what are we, we are feeding our trust, um, 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 uh, filling our trust, what are we doing? What's that called? You fund your trust. Fund. We're funding our trust. Which means you put, we put our, our, our properties in the trust. So those things that- We already had our money. monies in the trust, now we put properties, jewelry, we all sorts of stuff in the trust. Everything that you want to pass on unencumbered, and, and um, bypassing probate you put in your trust. So some people have a trust and there's nothing in it. Mm -hmm. So then still you, you have the issue of if it's outside the trust, then other people have access That's to That's how you look cute tonight. Thank you, dear. I okay. thought that so, she was so, cute today. So here's what happens. The whole stop know. point. Gentlemen, tell your spouse they look good. Tell them they look good. Encourage them, inspire them, uplift them, cheer them on, be their cheerleader. I had a a lady. I had a lady who told me just this week her spouse has never told her she Aww. looked good. She said he never said I look good. He never. I got to her. I said you look fabulous. She said I wish my spouse would say that. Wow. Maybe they don't know to say it. See, a lot of it depends Ooh. on the kind of home you grew up in. And whether or not they were nurturing and loving, you know. I'm telling it you, becomes, gentlemen. It really becomes a cultural say, thing. Tell them that they look good. You, do, you, you know? do what you do, what you know, and what you know you've learned from your environment. 
So somebody the benefits has to are better. The, the consciousness and say, hmm, if you want something different, maybe you should. But it's hard this. for the spouse to tell them to tell me you look good. But I can tell them. I can tell you all to say this to your spouse. You look good today. You really look cute. Turn me on. Do I say that to you? Yes. Because you do. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Terrence had, had an interesting comment. Uh, Get Greg, a whole life policy with everybody in the family. Let's see. They put it in a trust. Uh, Greg, Greg said, we have a trust. Never thought about it like you are using it. Mm, okay. We, we use it for everything. We want to not be encumbered and make this. Uh, and we got a hundred. And, and you know what? And, and you do have to update it. Yeah. So that's on our list to do. The master list to do is to update it. Mm -hmm. Right. Update it in terms of. Have you gotten any new, um, yeah, any new, any new bank security, accounts, so. any, any uh, new other CDs, yes, you know, any, that. any new um, savings CDs, investments, any purchase any Invest. other invest, all of those kinds of things, right. so that it can pass unencumbered to the next generation. And then by getting it on paper, then you can constantly revise it. Yeah, and of course, there's a fee for doing that. But you can constantly revise it. And so that's a whole nother conversation about whether or not to get a whole life policy versus a term policy. That's a whole nother Deborah said conversation. every new year is the updates. Do it every mm. beginning of the year. Just beginning of the year. That's a good, good suggestion. Look, our time is almost up. We, we, we've got to make sure y'all know that we really want your help, want everybody's help on a number of things. One, everybody, please go to jollymarriage.com. Watch the TED Talk. Watch it. We're trying to get a million views in the next month. That's outrageous goal, but you got to think big. So tell everybody you know to please share it with their friends. We want every married couple to see that video. It's 10 minutes long, 11 minutes long. Um, all right, Craig said, I told Linda she looked sexy after her hair style today. Because she did. Come on now. All right. Go ahead now. That's right. Okay. So everybody go. Keeping the romance alive. Everybody go to uh, jollymarriage.com. Uh, tell everybody they know to go to Jolly Marriage and watch the TED Talk. That's free. Go to jollymarriage.com and get the free chapter from the book. And if you get the book, get two copies, one for you and one for your significant other. Read it at the same time. We give you a discount in price. Of course. <laughs> Terrence the Tyrant. And then third thing we want you to know is that we have the Relationship Repair Series. Some people are taking advantage of it, but it's a great series we did last year. It's five parts plus a bonus. It's uh, five parts. And then each one is about an hour or so. Uh, it's communication, finances, sex and romance, family matters, and blended families. We talk about those five things. And then there's the 11, the bonus one, the 11, the 11 big problems that people have in relationships and how to fix them. Thank you, Deborah, for sharing the TED Talk. I had somebody tell me today, I watched the TED Talk. It was phenomenal. And I shared it with everybody on my Facebook, on my Instagram. It's so good. And it was so funny. And, and yet it was so many pearls in it. So thank you, Deborah. And what everybody, Terrence, thank you for sharing it with all your folks. Greg and Linda, thank y'all for all y'all doing. Thank do. everyone for being on with us. We don't take it lightly that you carve out. Uh, 28 minutes, 30 minutes to be with us. I think next week, as we are on top of Valentine's Day, some people are celebrating this weekend. We're in a little, we're in a little uh, Valentine's. and Valentine's Day is what, next Tuesday? Next Tuesday. Okay. You should come Monday with what's your best Valentine's tip. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's your best Valentine's tip? Join us your next best Monday. Valentine's Day tip. For a special Valentine's Day show. And I told him when oh, we started dating, I said, don't buy me anything. Don't buy me anything. Don't buy me, don't don't buy me anything. Because I didn't know how long I was going to be seeing him. So I did not want to be in that terrible? By any kind of gift. Isn't that I said, terrible? straight up, I'm like, please don't but buy me anything. But I got her. I got her. <laughs> So y'all join us for a special Valentine's Day show next Monday night as we prepare. What's your favorite Valentine's Day? All right, favorite Valentine. What do you do when there's uh, 
problems in your marriage, how do you get past them? We're going to talk about that next Monday night. Hey, thank you all for joining us. It's time for us to go. We're going to go to our music from my jazz album. You can get that at willyjolly.com slash jazz. It's called Close to You. Uh, the name of the, the uh, album is Sunny. Sunny! But this is a special song, Close to You. Help you all enjoy it. Hope you have a great week on purpose. Happy Valentine's Day month Ciao. and happy Black History Month. Here we go. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.